to be able to find these these uh, little little tidbits. So if we to get that get that Feng Song, you you want to be able to release and extend and be able to reach, you know, and then when that does is it ties everything together, it creates a state of wholeness throughout the whole system. So, and we're gonna be going into Anjin and we're gonna feel into that when we're, we're playing with the Anjin because it's a, one of the more complex jins we played. So we, so far we've covered a few of them we we talked about Pong Jin, which is kind of an up and out expansive kind of energy. Then we have Lu Jin, which is a kind of more of a down and in kind of receptive kind of energy. And then we have Qi Jin, which is you know press energy, and that's you know where they're we're extending out in a very yang way with the arms, but we're simultaneously going very yin with the with the uh, with the legs with us with the with the foundation so we're sinking in getting that very yin to produce the the counterbalance to the yang expression of the arms so now we're going to anjin and with that we get pong lu ji an as like the uh, the the four cornerstones of taiji chuan and then we get into other other energies beyond that, but those are like the the primary ones. Those are like the cardinal points of the of the compass. So Pong Lu Ji An, An is a little more complex in that it is. We think of it. We use the term push to uh, to talk about you know uh, in, in the uh, the way we translate the uh, into our, our forms. We say, oh, you know, we have you know, ward off, roll back, press and push. And with that comes a certain idea of, um, which I believe is counterproductive to actually experiencing the gin aspect because this is a real primal kind of, kind of thing. It's something that, that, you know, every kid does in a schoolyard, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, you know, and uh, there's a, a shoving away. And that is different than what we're trying to do with these gins. Because first of all, you know, the, the shove usually is accompanied by a pushing away also from the earth. So we're disconnecting the root and we're kind of getting down. So we're going dialing the Li, the muscular force, you know, back to like, you know, maximum and turning the chi way down to minimum. And so the, the amount of gin, it's a really crude gin that we're talking about there. But if we, we change it, so we're gonna take this, this on apart so that we can see the, the various components of it. So it's actually more of a compressing down and then out. So there's, you can think of it in a kind of a circular pattern where you're kind of going like this, you're down, pressing down and then uh, reaching out. So that's the, that's the pattern of the energy. But prior to that, and it's a, it's a real important point here I wanna, I wanna comment on, and that is when we're applying these chins, there is a quality of reaching rather than pushing away. So the way we connect up and actually establish the shift out of the muscle-based format, which that push away is kind of a, a fear-based kind of thing, whereas we're actually reaching out to connect. So, the difference between a push and a reach, you know, is that desire to connect to something. You know, I reach out and touch my wrist. Okay, there's a desire to connect there. If I'm pushing my wrist, there's there's a desire to disconnect. So, in when we're going into Anjin, there's there is you're making contact, 
and keeping that contact, you're sticking and adhering. You've reached out, you've, you've established contact with the whatever it is you're, you're doing. Let's say, let's say we're talking in a push hands context where you're reaching out, touching your partner and you're making contact and you're drawing in and down and then up and out. So that circle goes like that. But it's there is a, a continuous kind of stickiness that's going on with your hands. So that's what's happening up, up top. That's what's happening in your in you know your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Down below, we are getting very sung in the qua. So we're uh, sinking down because to be able to direct this energy in and down, we have to drop our energy. So you can't push away from the earth and, and get that same effect. You, you've disconnected from your source of yin chi, which is the earth. So we want to develop it. So I told you it's a kind of complex uh, jin, but understanding it actually improves your understanding of everything else. So it's well worth the time put into actually learning about it and then practicing it. Because in whenever you can do that, then you are moving the gin, the gin ratio way more to the chi side. And you're then able to translate that into the other other energies. So, um, any questions so far? We're good. Everybody, everybody, good. Okay, good. So let's uh, let's uh, we'll start by just working on the 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 foundation because it all kind of starts with the foundation, and we'll uh, we'll work with that, and then we'll. We'll work into the what's going on with the with